New York City right now is facing a massive crisis. If you haven't been following any sort of New York City news, well, guess what? They have a huge migrant crisis. You got like 200,000 people, migrants, all in New York City. New York's going broke. Businesses are leaving. It's competing cities like Toronto in the north, Miami in the south, and Vegas over there in the west are all taking New York City's business, talent, and people. New York already has a massive multi-trillion dollar outflow of the city because the city is spending $12 billion on the migrant crisis in the next year and a half. Whereas other cities are spending billions of dollars on their own infrastructure, getting local businesses in, and New York City, guys, it's 2024, you don't have to move here for work. Companies are honestly moving out, and it is no longer the best place to be. Check out this video here. You got Randall Island's Micro Shelter New York City. It's a video that's recently been floating around. You could watch this yourself. Basically, the translator states that this guy is saying that he has some kind of shoplifting crew going on and they bring a lot of stolen goods back to Randall's Island to sell it. This is what's happened in New York City. We're also seeing the laws being extremely lax. Whereas if you shoplift and you steal under $1,000, it's just a misdemeanor, right? And the migrants are fine. There isn't any sort of consequences for a lot of people doing this. And the shoplifting incidences in New York City is through the roof. So much so that many stores are closing down. For example, recently in the past few months, the Target in Harlem, New York City has closed down. They're no longer coming back. New York shoplifting is up 64% almost double compared to a few years ago. Gucci lost 51K in one shoplifting incident. Rebag, a luxury boutique, lost almost a quarter million dollars. Stores are leaving. The New York governor is proposing $45 million to stop retail theft. But like I said, you just have some really obscene and absurd laws. Under $1,000 is a misdemeanor, which emboldens many people to go to these stores and just loot the crap out of it. Do you want to live in a city where there's constant looting and shoplifting is up 64%? Probably not, right? Many of these thieves are not migrants. Now, some of them are. It's like a massive mix right now, okay? It is through the roof, shoplifting. It doesn't matter what's going on, what the law is. It's wrong. So much shoplifting. Like, it's so incredibly high. If you look at some of the stores like Macy's over there, Nordstrom, shoplifting through the roof, right? There's a lot of petty crime. There's some thieves that only shoplift me $100, they leave. NYPD doesn't care. NYPD has their hands full and other things. This is what's happening here. You can't open a store here without getting into some sort of shoplifting incident. It is so difficult. Crime right now in the subways are so bad that the New York governor, she is sending the National Guard's troops to police the New York State subway. This is like some sort of dystopian city that we're living in. I mean, there's 750 National Guard's troops underground right now and 250 MTA and state troopers as well. Because the amount of patrols from NYPD is at an all-time low, we're seeing crime in the New York subways at an all-time high. We're seeing fights. We're seeing slash incidences. We saw two conductors, people who work in the New York City subway station in the past couple of weeks, literally get heavily injured. And one of them vows to never go underground again. The defund police movement is not working at all. Criminals are not being persecuted, and New York City is running rampant with theft and shoplifting. And by the way, this to some New Yorkers may seem like a big attack. But honestly, in every video I say that if New York City wants to become a great city again, it's going to be needing some insanely drastic changes. This is one very, very big change. If they have National Guard members and a lot of police station in every single subway station in New York City, I guarantee you crime rate will absolutely go down. In the next few weeks, just look at some of the crime numbers. It will probably drop by double digit percentages and it will continue to do so. I know this may not seem popular for many New Yorkers, but many people in New York that I've talked to on different forums and Reddit and X, they actually kind of appreciate this sort of, this sort of troop sending. In fact, some people even say they probably need to send more National Guard's troops because New York subways are massive. There's dozens and dozens of stations, and it's really, really crazy, too. There's also the Adams administration. you got the New York City Mayor Eric Adams thinking about doing an executive order on migrant crime. And they basically want to deport migrants accused of crimes, especially the violent crimes. But another big thing that you need to know is the city council actually blocked this. So Adams is considering executive action to address violent offenders. I think many New Yorkers are sick and tired of the migrant crisis. You know, many people are saying that Adams suddenly did a U-turn on the migrant crisis is simply because so many people in New York City, from Harlem to Park Slope, are all furious at the Adams administration. They're like, we never asked to be a sanctuary city. 
Now we are and the city's going broke. So this is how it is now. And that's what they're saying. I don't know what's going on in New York City, but so far you got Eric Adams having an epiphany on the migrant crisis, crime and deportations. And this is happening. Let's see what happens to New York in the next few weeks. But I got to tell you, it is one of the most interesting stories I've ever seen. Thanks for watching, guys. And how would you solve the New York City problem?